2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 17. Now the Lord is that Spirit, and where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. But we all, with open face, beholding as in a glass the glory of the Lord, are changed into the same image from what? Glory to glory, even as by the Spirit of the Lord. So that's where this all begins to take place. This transformation begins to take place and you will go through many levels of transformation as you worship the Holy Ghost from glory to glory. You go from one level to the next level. And that's what I'm going to be talking about today, the levels inside the Metropolitan Holy Ghost Society. Level number one. Are you here? Level number one is worshiping the Holy Ghost. You have to worship God. If you don't worship God, you don't get the things that God wants you to get. If you don't worship Him, your heart isn't perfect towards Him, and He can't move on your behalf. You want Him to move on your behalf? I know I do. Then you're going to have to worship Him. Who is He? Who's God in the earth today? The Father's in heaven. Jesus is at His right hand. The Holy Ghost is God in the earth today. It's His dispensation. It's His age. You ever heard of that? The age of Aquarius. Well, it's not the age of Aquarius. It's the age of the Holy Ghost. What does that mean? That means everything that goes on in the earth today is by the Holy Ghost. It's his deal now. Jesus went and sat down on the right hand of God. He's still seated today. He hasn't returned. And he sent the Holy Ghost. Therefore, the God in the earth today, the one whom we worship and have to do with, is the Holy Ghost. Do you get that? I hope so. The Holy Ghost is God in the earth today. It's His dispensation. He's the one who teaches you all things. If He's the teacher that's sent to the church, then He has to teach you all things, and that means the beginning things. And like I've said before, the problem with many Christians is they've learned so much through their doctrine and through their Christianity that somehow they're, they're missing all of the good things and the real foundation that the Holy Ghost is supposed to build into them. So, what's going to happen as soon as you begin worshiping, when you say, I worship you, Holy Ghost, you begin to worship the Holy Ghost, and then He begins to change your whole foundation. He begins to turn it from religiousness and weird things and, and weirds that you interpreted the Scripture wrong. He begins to put them all together, and you begin to think differently, and He completely messes up what you thought was, was the way to go, and He begins to establish in you something new and something greater and something that's going to take you from one level of glory to the next level of glory. Not just one level of glory and, and then you die and go to heaven. No, he, he establishes you in the way so that you can go from level to level to level and he puts you on the right way. You get that? It all begins with Holy Ghost worship. If you began in any other way, then there's something in there that's going to have to get changed before you can go to the next level. His dispensation, his age, we're in the Holy Ghost age. You would ask people, what age are you in? And they wouldn't even know. You can ask Christians what age they're in. They don't even know. They don't even know what you're talking about. You're in the Holy Ghost age. It's the age of the Holy Ghost. He teaches you all things. All things, even the beginning things. And you will go through many transformations from one glory to the next glory to the next. And at each time, you go through another transformation. So the first step in the Metropolitan Holy Ghost Society, the first level of the Metropolitan Holy Ghost Society is Holy Ghost worship. It's the beginning. It's where you begin. There has to be a beginning, so you begin where? You begin at the beginning, and the beginning is Holy Ghost worship. So, and I welcome you here. I'm glad that you're here, but, and, and what you need to do is begin to simply worship the Holy Ghost. Take some time every day, time every day, time, every day to worship the Holy Ghost and you say I worship you Holy Ghost I worship you Holy Ghost you go by yourself and you do that and what happens is he begins to look at you and he comes to you and he starts to rearrange your squirrely thinking and set things straight so he can move you on to the next level of glory the next level is learning to walk with the Holy Ghost you got to learn to walk with him he's God in the earth today it's his age you get to walk with who the Holy Ghost you get to walk with the Holy Ghost 
many transformations as you walk with the Holy Ghost Amos 3 verse 3 says can two walk together except they be agreed well this is a question that has an obvious answer no so in order to walk with God who is God in the earth today you have to be in agreement and the what agreement means the literal transway translation of the word agreement means to say the same thing and the more you learn about the Holy Ghost you know he's a God of words he began all this is is him breathed into text form and when you take this and you put it in your mouth you begin to walk with him you walk with the Holy Ghost by saying words the Bible and other tongues when you're walking when you're speaking the Bible and you're speaking other tongues or one or the other or both then you're walking with God if you're not doing that you're not walking with God that's level number two learning how to walk with the Holy Ghost how do you walk with the Holy Ghost you walk with him by saying words you get good at it you get good at it you get better at it and you become a word worker I know I say a lot of phrases like this but I say them because that's kind of what they mean and they they help to imprint on your head a word worker but there's a science behind the word working there's a science be you know there's a science behind creation scientists won't like that but that's the fact scientists are like mm, no God's not there well God made science you goofball there's science behind walking with God there's a science to it and that's why I said that it's called a leisure science this whole segment of level two walking with the Holy Ghost by being a word worker walking with him by saying there's a science to it there's a method to it and if you learn the method you learn how to apply the science behind it you become a leisure science it becomes you enter into the rest of walking with God see because your mind may have all these these crazy things going on you may be under stress you maybe have bad situations all this stuff's trying to stress you out stress you out but if you know how to walk with God you simply take verses of Scripture my God shall supply all my need according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus no weapon formed against me shall prosper when I did that I'm walking with God I entered I've learned how to enter into that rest I've learned how to put pressure on the words instead of taking the pressure on myself God's not given me the spirit of fear but of power and of love and a sound mind so if fear tries to come against me I've learned how to work that word as a leisure activity I'm not stressing I'm not striving I leisurely walk with God does it say you learn how to stressfully strive with God no you're walking take a leisure walk with God you become a leisure scientist does this make any you begin sense? to trade the physical effort and the physical stress for spiritual effort you're learning how to take situations that were once impossible or difficult and by applying the words to it the leisure science the word worker you begin to take the pressure off and you learn how to trade those words for the stress that used to be there right you get good at it there's a science behind it that's level two and you never get I mean you get you go you go higher up there are new levels to go up but you never cease being a word worker just like you never cease being a level one Holy Ghost Society member you're still a worshiper of the Holy Ghost you just add to it the next level it's built on those levels you worship the Holy Ghost you be you walk with the Holy Ghost by saying and speaking his Bible and in other tongues right and then you go on to the next level which is what I want to take a little more time on today first level is a Holy Ghost worshiper second level is a leisure scientist I hope I made that at least somewhat clear Galatians chapter 6 and verse 7 be not deceived God is not mocked for whatsoever a man sows that shall he also reap for he that sows to his flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption but he that sows to the spirit shall of the spirit reap life 
as you learn to walk with God you realize that part of this science that's going on is you're sowing to the Spirit you're sowing words into the Spirit and what does it say if you sow to the Spirit you shall of the Spirit reap so you're gonna reap of the Spirit that's our next level that's the level of the exploiteur so we've got the Holy Ghost worshiper one who worships the Holy Ghost and we got the word worker the leisure scientist he learns to walk with God by saying words and then we've got the Holy Ghost exploiteur I combined exploit and the word entrepreneur because they, both of those things apply you're going to be doing exploits because you know God and you're going to be you're going those exploits are going to do things that bring things to you in a way that that's how you make your living that's how you do things he that sows to the spirit shall of the spirit reap and that's where we're going that's where we're all going learning how to reap out of the spirit we're reaping out of the spirit not out of the flesh not out of the natural it will affect the flesh and the natural but you're going to be reaping from the spirit world Daniel chapter 11 and verse 32 and such as do wickedly against the covenant shall he corrupt by flatteries but the people that do know their God huh why does it say we have to know God well you're not going to get the rest of this verse unless you know God you got to know who he is you got to know who you worship not like Paul said to the people when he was on Mars Hill you ignorantly worship somebody you don't even know well we know that this is the age of the Holy Ghost we worship the Holy Ghost he's God in the earth today we know who we worship the people who know their God who God what God the Holy Ghost the people who know the Holy Ghost shall be strong and do exploits so you know God you worship him you walk with him by saying words and you're going to do exploits are you making this up no God made this up and that's why I'm reading you scriptures so your goofy head it doesn't just run off on those trails why do you have to talk that way because people have goofy heads and they're they're messed up because they haven't began at the beginning you get to begin at the beginning which is worshiping the Holy Ghost you began somewhere else and that's why you're all offended about what I'm saying I'm telling you you've got to begin to worship the Holy Ghost and he'll begin to rearrange these things then you will know God you will be strong strong in what strong in walking with him and then you'll be able to do exploits which is what we're talking about today exploits and if you're doing exploits I just call you an exploiteur okay live by the spirit of exploit and not the spirit of labor so what is an exploiteur one on that level he begins to live by the spirit of exploit and begins to not have to worry so much about the spirit of labor or striving does that make sense you live by the spirit of exploit and not by the spirit of labor Deuteronomy 8 yeah verse 17 and I'll say in my heart in thine heart my power and the might of my hand has got me this wealth see now here we got somebody who's put all their effort into my power the might of my hand got me this wealth or got me to this place or got me to this position in the spirit you don't say that the Bible's telling you not to say that well if it's telling you not to say that it will be telling you to say something else but you cannot say that I not say that a lot it's 18 but thou shalt remember the Lord thy God for it is he that gives thee power to get wealth this is what you should be saying it is God who gives me power to get wealth now if I say it's God gives me power to get wealth what am I doing I'm walking with God by saying his word I'm in agreement with him by saying his word I know that it's God the Holy Ghost that I'm walking with and when I say it is God who gives me power to get wealth I'm walking with him but as I'm doing that I'm setting myself up to be an exploiteur or entering into the exploiteur class exploiteur class of being we're at, we're talking about a new class of being 
something that hasn't existed before because people have had the foundation wrong and they couldn't get here but we're gonna go from here from this exploiteur class and move on like Enoch into the spirit and be was not for God took us that's where we're going thou shalt remember the Lord thy God or thou shalt talk the Lord thy God for it is he that gives thee power to get wealth the word get literally means take and so the exploit tour play they exploit things they literally take things they exploit it they take it bring forth the exploit that provides I'm telling you God told me to tell you that today you need to learn how to bring forth the exploit that provides most people have no idea what 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 this is and people that are just beginning aren't gonna know this people that haven't experienced this aren't gonna know this because this is part of the exploiteur class they know how to and operate in the ability to bring forth the exploit that provides you have a need you need a healing you need something you need all of these things well how are you gonna do it well the ex person that's an exploiteur or part of the exploiteur class he knows how to bring forth the exploit that provides it's a supernatural force force that takes a supernatural force that takes it is God that gives the power to get power to get God gives you power to get what's the power the power is a supernatural force that takes see God doesn't give the wealth God gives the power to take the wealth God gives the power and that is called exploit for it is he God God who God the Holy Ghost we're in the age of the Holy Ghost it is God that gives thee thee who thee you thee me power so a supernatural force that takes takes what in this instance takes wealth wealth could mean a whole lot of things it's but don't don't go yes wealth means all of these other things except money don't be stupid it's it the first thing it means is money and the second thing it means is all of those other things that's part of your religiousness because you haven't worshiped the Holy Ghost enough you begin to worship the Holy Ghost you'll realize he's a God of wealth stupid wealth stupid stupendous I shorted the word stupendous and called it stupid but I'm not calling the Holy Ghost stupid you understand stupendous wealth it's just ridiculous how wealthy the Holy Ghost is he owns the heavens and the earth he created the heavens and the earth he's God in the earth today and he wants to walk with you by saying and you want to say that he's not wealthy oh goodness go back to square one start worshiping him and when he comes into the room and starts looking at you his he's gonna get on you and in you and all of a sudden you're gonna realize that God is wealth and in him there is no poverty at all and then people like you will criticize you it's a supernatural force that takes or exploits right you God gives you a supernatural force that takes and we need to link learn how to bring forth the exploit that provides a supernatural substance that God gives who does this where do you get the exploiteur does this he knows that he's gone from just walking with God by saying words he's learned that science to get him to the place of the next level climbing up on that ladder so to speak or going up the carpeted steps with the pillows when you get up there you begin to realize that there's power there a supernatural substance that provides years ago God told me this live in and by the continuing substance continuing substance of the gift of the working of miracles who would do that the exploiteur class they've learned that there's a supernatural force that takes the exploit it brings forth the exploit that provides it's a supernatural substance that God gives who's God the Holy Ghost he gives power to get or take or exploit wealth it's a supernatural substance tangible to the spirit meaning you can feel it 
with your spirit you can't feel it with your hand you can't feel it with your face although sometimes you feel him in your hands and your face and you feel the power in your hands and your face but it's a supernatural substance it's a substance meaning it's an actual substance and you feel it in the spirit realm and that is a spirit of exploit and when you be, learn how to acquire that substance and as soon as you acquire that substance for whatever it is it takes it God gives you power to get wealth and I realize a lot of this is gonna be way over people's heads but I got to put it out there because it shows you where you're going you begin with Holy Ghost worship you never leave Holy Ghost worship you begin with Holy Ghost worship you add to that the level two where you walk with God by saying words then you add to that the level three where the power of God begins to take things for you I've literally had him I'm there on my knees I'm worshiping I'm praying in tongues I'm doing level two and I'm doing it well and I'm getting good at it and all of a sudden the Holy Ghost gets up get I can feel him get up off of me and leave the room and go out into the other room and he literally brought someone from the other room came in and knocked on the door and they came in and they answered what I was praying about they said I'm gonna buy you an airline ticket well that was my need that's what I was praying about that's what I was working on with my level 2 MHGS Metropolitan Holy Ghost Society level and then all of a sudden what did that do it it, it helped me to see over over level two I'm, I'm looking up onto the next carpeted level and I'm looking there and I'm seeing that this is where I get to go next I get to go here and all of a sudden that power comes in and it takes what did it take it took a ticket and it brought it to me well isn't that special yeah it was special it's a supernatural substance tangible to the spirit now did I feel that in my physical body I might have thought I did but I was in the spirit at that time so I felt the substance do something it's a supernatural substance that God gives God gives power to get wealth he gives the power then you can know the power when he gives it does this make sense it's a supernatural substance that you can know that you can have that you can obtain it's a supernatural substance that you can know have and obtain who knows has and obtains this supernatural substance and uses it the exploiteur class are they still Holy Ghost worshipers yes or do they still walk with God by saying yes but they've entered into a realm of power of substance of a supernatural substance and they use it they know it they've obtained it I call it obtainium why do I call it obtainium because you can obtain it it's not obtainable no it is obtainable it's called obtainium it's the power of the Spirit that you can obtain and you can use and it can do things for you and work for you and you can do exploits by it and you're supposed to because the people who know their God prove them so strong stand firm and do exploits that's the amplified translation for natural substance that you can know have use and obtain I call it obtainium all of this revelation it sounds like a lot of revelation all of this revelation came to me through worshiping the Holy Ghost I worship you Holy Ghost I worship the Holy Ghost and I worship the Holy Ghost on a daily basis and I've spent hours upon hours upon hours upon days worshiping God you worship the Holy Ghost uh, he's God you see so I worship God and as I'm worshiping God he puts these revelations down on the inside of me and I'm bringing them to you if you will listen to me I will take you and lead you to this level I will lead you to the exploiteur class you can go there and we're gonna go there together that's the whole point point. and as we learn how to live there we'll be able to go from another glory to another glory until we all go together into the cloud and disappear and not come back just like Enoch if you will listen to me I will lead you into this exploiteur class if you don't listen to me I feel sorry for you I am anointed to take you there 
that's where we're going this is why I'm talking about it is so that you can know where we're going you can see the level and the progression of where you're at you can go okay well I, 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 well I worship the Holy Ghost and I'm learning how to walk with God by saying good then you're on you're you're farther on the path than most people but as you walk with him by saying you're gonna be learning these other things there's this other level that I'm telling you about I'm saying hey over here come over here there's more for you to go here there's more levels go up the stairs and get on the level because there's power tangible to the spirit it's a supernatural force that does exploits it takes and you're supposed to take in the spirit there's a supernatural substance that God gives it's a super supernatural substance tangible to the spirit you can know it you can have it you can obtain it it's obtainium remember I told you it's a supernatural substance that takes it's a supernatural substance that God gives it's a supernatural substance that obtains that you can obtain and that obtains things it does exploits Hebrews now faith is the substance of things hoped for the evidence of things not seen for by it the elders obtained by it the elders obtained it's a substance that obtains it's what the exploiter class lives by operates by live in and by the continuing substance of the gift of the working of miracles and never leave it in all things take in the spirit take exploit in the spirit get in the spirit take those things with your words and with your faith until they are yours and you own them you can own it you can obtain it you can have it the man who works is limited by his own abilities meaning he's just working in the natural but the man who does not work that I'm not saying don't work I'm saying that the man who does not apply all of his he's learning how to trans go transfer all of that effort from just working over into the spirit the man who does not work but relies on God is unlimited by his association with the supernatural now you're associating not just with having to do things in the natural but now you're learning to work in the spirit you're obtaining things you're obtaining power that provides things in the spirit the man who works is limited by his own abilities the man who does not work but relies and trusts in God is unlimited he goes into the unlimited realm by and through his association with the supernatural take the limits off stop limiting God by associating only with the natural and learn how to become part of the exploiteur class who associates with the power of God that transforms you from one glory to the next and helps you to do exploits in the spirit thank you for joining us today let me pray for you father in Jesus name I pray for these people let my fruit remain in them let them be completely delivered from the bondage of corruption and set forth free into things of the children of light from glory to glory even as by the spirit of the lord may his grace and truth be with you in jesus name amen